Hey guys, this is Planet Discus Fish Tank, and welcome to part 4 of the Dutch Style Aquascape. In the previous video, which was part 3, I went ahead and showed you how to set up a low cost pressurized carbon dioxide system. But injecting CO2 alone is not enough for a heavily planted tank to flourish. A Dutch aquascape will also need an abundance of macro and micronutrients to achieve its full potential for growth and color. In this video, I'm going to mix a DIY liquid fertilizer I got from online. And after that, I'm going to set up an automatic dosing system for the liquid fertilizers. So here's a package from Neelock G Aquatics. This is a DIY liquid fertilizer mix. So initially, I was thinking about buying individual chemicals and mixing and measuring myself. But then I decided to go simple. So here is a set of micro and macro nutrients. This will last about a year. Next is the GH booster, which is made out of calcium and will help the crayfish molt. And here is another set of micro and macro nutrients, which should last another year. And finally, we have the dosing bottles. One for the micro and another for the macro nutrients. So let's zoom in on these bottles where it'll show us the instructions for mixing and it'll also show us the dosing quantities as well as the nutrient contents of each of the bottles. So for the macros we are to add one of the packets to 500 milliliters of the RO or DI water and in terms of dosing we are to put 5 milliliters per 20 gallons. So for my 75 gallon tank, I'm going to put about 20 milliliters of this mix every other day. And in terms of the element concentrations in the mix, the values listed here are per Tom Barr's estimated index method. And similarly for the micros, we also mix it with 500 milliliters of DI or RO water, same dosage, 5 milliliters for 20 gallons. And finally, the element concentrations are listed in the bottom of the bottle. So here I have distilled water from the grocery store. And here's a small funnel. And I'll go ahead and mix the solution, starting off with the macros. Now for the micros. So now we're going to demonstrate how to apply using the dosing bottles. Here I'm squeezing gently until I feel the right amount of fluid in the left chamber. And for the 75 gallon I use about 20 milliliters. And I'll dose the micros every other day while I dose the macros 
alternate days. So after a couple of weeks of manual dosing, I decided I wanted to automate the system to free up some of my time. So here's another package I got from Amazon.com. I have two pumps here, one for the macro nutrients and another for the micro nutrients. These pumps were two for $10, so essentially $5 a piece. Uh, they are low flow, about 80 gallons per hour. Next are some tall containers. They were also two for $10 perfect for about a thousand milliliters of liquid and finally I have two timers also two for ten dollars so in total I spent thirty dollars to automate the system So here I'm doing a fit check. I've connected the pump with the airline tubing just to see how it fits and it fits perfectly. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill the containers with a thousand milliliters of distilled water. So here I'm going to mix in the macronutrients, that's the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So here I go ahead and put the pump with the tubing into the container. I close the lid and notice that I drilled a hole in the cap. It's about one inch in diameter and it's large enough to fit the plug from the pump. And here I'm going to do the same for the micros. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward with this. So here I'm going to go ahead and tape over the holes to prevent any dust from getting in. So this is my sump filter underneath the 75 gallon Dutch Aquascape and I set up my two bottles with the timers plugged in. I've routed the tubing above the sump and I've attached two valves to control the flow. So now I manually turn on the pump and I'm going to figure out how long it takes to get five milliliters of fluid so I can program the timer. So that took about one minute to get five milliliters. So essentially I want 10 milliliters of micros a day and to achieve that I'm going to have to run the timer for two minutes. So I go ahead and program the two timers and I stagger them 12 hours apart. 
And so that concludes our video, as well as the four-part series of the Dutch style aquascape. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and please join me next time for new content and thank you for watching.